how's it going? I'm I Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so after at least a few weeks of not talking about book stuff, um kinda wanna talk about book stuff. Uh, but I am also aware that this is probably being filmed as <laughs> for the uh, roundup of August, just based on time of when I'm filming it. Um, I don't really want to have to sort of stop it kind of out of place. Um, so I'm going to sort of do this one as the two halves. I'm going to do a little bit of a roundup for August to begin with, and then I'm going to talk about some booky, updatey kind of stuff um, as well. Um, so yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to start. <laughs> um. So I'm now. I've now had my second uh, COVID vaccine. Uh, injection. I had that last Monday. Um, so in a couple of weeks from now, I will be fully vaccinated. And I'm saying it as a couple of weeks from now, because obviously it takes a while for it to be fully in the system. So um, because of the way vaccination works, I'm not counting myself as being fully vaccinated just yet, because it takes a while for your system to fully incorporate the vaccine into it. So in about three Two weeks from now, um, three weeks from when I have the injection, I will technically be fully vaccinated, which means I will be at less risk of developing serious COVID symptoms. Um, obviously, there's still a chance that I could get COVID, but hopefully if I do, um, I won't get as unwell with it as I would have otherwise. So I am quite glad to now be in that position. Um, other things have kind of happened in my August, well obviously I've got my new little baby furs, um, I've been spending a lot of time bonding with them, they're still a little bit more on the sketchy side with me um, than I remember me and Celebi kind of being at this stage, but then me and Celebi were a little bit older when I got them, their setup was different as well, so it was easier to get them more acclimatised for me being around. Um, and a lot of my scheduling is different. I think um, I think a lot of my scheduling is different. I don't actually know. I might have actually been on the eight balls at that point as well. Um, I do know that I did have like a full week off uh, shortly after getting them, so they got very used to me um, during that week, and I've not had any time off apart from my days off um, since getting my new little furs. So that again, that might be. Um, playing a part in them sort of being a little bit slower and getting accustomed to me being around but having said that they're, they're a little bit more skittish and a little bit more easily startled but they are still um they are definitely getting there they are, we are definitely moving towards the point where they accept that i'm not going to hurt them and they're almost getting to the point of kind of looking forward to seeing me even if they're nervous and uh run away if I so much as breathe the wrong way at the moment. <laughs> um, other things that have happened in my August is obviously I went to my first Pride event, which was Pink Pride, which um, next time I'm definitely going to take someone with me so that I don't feel like I can hit level on my own. Um, but I definitely enjoyed the experience of going and I will definitely go to another one as I said next time definitely with somebody so that um I, yeah just just so that I don't feel so <laughs> just so that my introversion doesn't get in the way in the way of my enjoyment um uh, which it can do unfortunately uh sometimes um so what else what else happened in my August that I can talk about um well work has been a little bit stressful but I can't really talk about that because it's not a good idea to, uh, <laughs> I mean, not that I would, I mean, nothing I would say would necessarily be bad-mouthing my work, um, 
But a lot of the reason why my work is a little bit stressful for me at the moment isn't really stuff that I can go into here uh, without A, probably giving away where I work, which I am determined not to do for various reasons, and B, because I would be talking from a place of stress and therefore whatever I say might be easy to misconstrue. Just know that work is a little bit stressful for me at the moment for various reasons. But hopefully, eventually, those reasons will settle down um, and things will be less stressful again. But just know that for the time being, work is a little bit stressful for me at the moment. And that is, again, that is something that has shaped my August. Um, because unfortunately, it, it kind of has to. Um, I've not had as many movie nights with my friends this month. Um, in fact, I think we will only, have, like, by the end of this month, we'll only manage one movie night for the entirety of August. Um, and that's very much to do with the fact that, as I mentioned in my Pride one, uh, one of my friends has an event on this month, um, which is to do with her acting stuff. Um, and she had rehearsals for it, and it was supposed to be um, one of the weekends. Unfortunately, there was um, shootings in Plymouth right before that particular weekend and the event was postponed. Um, it had a new date, which will be the weekend of the week that I'm filming this one. Obviously, it will have happened by the time this one goes up. Um, but obviously, out of respect um, for the people who lost their lives in, in that shooting, um, the event was postponed um, and again I think our way of also showing respect was to also like not sort of have the movie night that particular night either I think we all sort of we didn't talk about it but I think we all sort of very much mutually agreed that you know so that we could process what happened um, individually and uh, so that we could uh, show as I said show our own personal respect uh, rather than sort of like laughing and joking like nothing has happened um it felt better to us to sort of postpone um like not take advantage of the fact that we now have that night again and and not having a night that particular night and then i guess that is something else that has shaped my august um it's on a, a very serious note um there were shootings in summer um I want to say a couple of weeks ago now, but I don't even think it's quite as long ago as, as that. Um, my sense of time is, is not the best. Um, but I, yeah, it, it, it feels like it hasn't really been that long. So I, I want to say a couple of weeks at most. Um, they happened in an area known as Kiem, which is not that close necessarily to where I'm living. Um, but I have known people who have lived in that area in the past, um, who either no longer live in that area or have, have moved sort of further away from, from where the event had happened than maybe they were previously living, um, or have moved to various other areas. And I, I, I also know people who know people who, who have, who do actually live in the area as well. Um, you know, shootings are not something that happen in England in general very often so when an event like that happens it is very shocking it is uh, something that does affect um, the, the community as a whole and, and kind of is a community as a whole um, I've seen like lots of posts and stuff on Facebook talking about how Plymouth is kind of like a village in the shape of a town in the shape of a city um, and it, it does some like when something like this happens it does very much feel like that um, Plymouth is very much a place where even if you don't necessarily know everybody individually, you do feel things um, and you do have a, a strong sense of kind of um, city pride, I guess, is, uh, uh, and community pride. And yeah, the, so something like this sort of happening and kind of knowing, you know, yeah, you're not necessarily physically that close to, to where it happened, but it's still part of your hometown. It's still somewhere that is reasonably close to where you are and it's affecting you know people that you that you know personally or affecting 
um, people who people are people that you know personally. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a really sort of hard way of, of saying it, but there is very much a sense in terms of that you're like three degrees removed from pretty much everybody. Um, so it is something that you, it, it is a, a great tragedy for the city and it is something that felt like that everyone in, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty big event um, for the month of August and a very sad event for the month of August. Um, and it is something that I think is going to affect um, my home city for a long time to come because as I said, shootings in general is not something that really happened in England very often, and for something like this to, to have happened um, and, and for loss of lives that have occurred because of it, it is, a, it is genuinely a tragedy, and it will definitely affect um, everybody who lives in Plymouth, who know people who live in Plymouth for a long time to come. Um, yeah. And I deliberately paused it there for a second out of respect um, before, before going on with anything else. Um, yeah. So now on to, I guess, the second half of this vlog on that. That note, it almost kind of feels wrong. Um, but yeah, the, the second half of this vlog, I want to sort of update you guys with what's going on with my writing at the moment because it has been um, a little bit of a while since I've sort of said anything about it. I mean, obviously I started off at the beginning of the year saying that I definitely want to get the last of the Never Rating book out before the end of the year um, and then hopefully two to four other books depending on how things sort of go. Um, it's not that I haven't been doing the work, and it's not that the giant probably isn't ready. I think I'm just very sort of paranoid. Um, one of the things that keeps happening with the editing process for the giants at the moment is I keep getting distracted when I'm supposed to be doing it, and then I keep feeling like I need to do another run through of it just to make sure I haven't missed anything. And to be honest, I don't. I don't think there is much that I've missed. Um, or anything like majorly obvious that I've missed, but I'm just getting very paranoid about it because I keep doing new edits of it, even though I probably reached the point where I don't need to anymore. Um, so yeah, that's what the whole book with the Giants is kind of at the moment. Um, I'm just doing through another edit again. Um, and I've just literally just started that. Um, I'm still very much determined to get this one out, uh, the Giants out, and at least two other books out before the end of the year. Um, I mean, like, I'm kind of less worried about the editing um, with the other books that I'm doing, even though I'm only doing like a chapter at a time with those ones, um, because they're much shorter books with much shorter chapters, the editing process feels a lot easier. So I, like, once I finish the process with the Giants, I feel like I can like get those ones out fairly quickly. Um, it's just because the Giants is a much longer book, um, and it's a much denser book for getting through as well. Um, and I know the story so well at this point um, that I think I'm almost like oversaturated with it. Um, but I'm still really paranoid that because I'm not paying as much attention to it as I should be, that I've, I've missed something obvious, and I'm just going to kick myself if I like don't do another edit. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the position that I'm in with um, the editing process at the moment and my plans to get books out at the moment. Um, we'll see how that kind of pans out for the rest of the year. Um, um, there really isn't very much else that I can sort of say about that, which is probably why it was good that I sort of tagged it on to the end of um, my roundup one, um, hopefully I've done a fairly okay good, <laughs> fairly okay good, a fairly okay job of combining these two elements. I know quite often when I do my roundup videos, I also like do like a look ahead, but um, at the end of them anyway, so it, it kind of makes sense to sort of do it like this, um, regardless. Um, as I said, um, for the most part, my August was 
fairly positive. I often, you can often tell from a lot of things I said, most of my oil was just very positive. Obviously, I know my heart goes out to all the, to all the people who were directly affected by the, the shootings that happened in Plymouth this month. Um, and obviously, I am amongst those who will be you know, affected for years to come that something like this could happen so close to, to where I live and to, you know, to people that, you know, are part of the community that I have grown up in. Um, so, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!